Fred Film Radio. I'm Matt Micucci from the 73rd Venice Film Festival, and this year we're the official uh, online radio station of the festival. Very pleased to be joined by director Carl Lemieux, who is the director of Maudit Poutine. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So, would you briefly explain to our listeners a little bit about the film, because it's kind of complex in its plotline? Well, uh, I guess this inspiration at the start was to go back to my hometown and cry, try, to, uh, try to film this particular energy I grew up with, right. uh, this industrial town, uh, and how, how the, the young people of the area, in that case it's more like young adults, but uh, how, you know, how we would survive it all with music and underground music uh, and and then it's all stories, you know, inspired from from there as well. So bits and pieces, it's fiction, yeah. but inspired from that that violence in in this little town and uh, the struggle and that take yeah. many different forms. It's really just trying to really get that energy, like you said, in this film, and there's a lot in it. Can you help our listeners kind of visualize the film? How do you try to achieve that stylistically? Well, at the start, I guess as an inspiration, uh, there's a. I was gathering. A, I, I made a um, kind of a mood board of uh, different black and white pictures. Yeah. Um, so a lot of blurry pictures, lots of eye contrast, grainy, uh, celluloid based photographs, um, and. So that particular mood and and also all the different radical music that I'm personally into uh, and it varies from you know bands from like Godspeed You Black Emperor to more like radical noise Noisy. American band like Wolf Eyes or dark ambient like Loose More. There's a uh, there's a lot of yeah different uh, sound element as well. In this setting, how do you work with the actors? Uh, in that case, my background is more experimental films. I've been uh, and crafted a lot of uh, short films and live performance that I do with uh, improviser and musician. And, uh, and so the, the lear learning curve was, the, was pretty steep. I had very little to no experience working with actors. So it was, it was important to start with actor that adds something already that uh, that I was trying to get. In the case of the main musician, uh, Jean-Simon, he was already in a, a, playing drum in a punk band, yeah. which was the character. So that was fantastic. He was, you know, uh, a good actor from Quebec, and but also who could play the drum. And he had that spirit, and he understood the project. So that was a really good start. And... Uh, and then people like Martin Dubreuil, who, to my opinion, one of the best actors we have in Quebec. Uh, and he accepted to play the older brother. And another thing uh, I did was to ask, uh, he's quite a famous actor in Quebec, Robert Aubert, but he's also from that <clears throat> same hometown. Yeah. So I asked him to, to play in the film, and it was great to have him on board to kind of bring the energy a little bit up with the non-actor because he's very well respected in the region and it, 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 it was great to mix it up and he ended up uh, playing with non-actor that were children, uh, childhood friend of him. Uh, so yeah, it was this thing where and, and we, we try to be as precise as possible in the script but then uh, we reviewed all the dialogue with the actor and so they could say it in a more natural way yeah, more and so I, I, I kept everything pretty open and we worked together we also did improvisation we uh, yeah. yeah so just very briefly uh, as a final question uh, I, obviously the atmosphere of the film is also quite tough so you're trying to get the audience a little bit out of their comfort zone with it uh, hopefully yeah that's, that's <laughs> to start with the flickering screens thank you very much for joining us it was a great pleasure talking to you about it. thank you Thank you. And this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.